Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Twilight Princess. This is Mike190, and also this is part 29. I accidentally got knocked down by the Goron, but no worries, I'm still alive. As you can see on the map, we have a purple dot. That means it's some sort of an event, like a boss. Rather, that's where we need to be. Alright, we are closing in on the monkey goblin things. I actually wasted my time by trying to knock off their attacks. Just keep moving. It's better that you live. Son of a... Oh yeah, still need to be using your shield attack to uh, disable the Gorons. Once you do shield attack them, they will roll up into a ball which you can use to jump up. And uh, this little meteor rock thing will come in handy for when we get to the water area. The water temple boss place. Take your pick really. This is really pissing me off. Alright, there you go. Roll into your little ball, you annoying ass Goron. Not too sure of this rock, but we'll have to ignore it for now. Goron that we need to disable is on the far right. Yeah, there you go, you stupid Goron. Get in your place. One thing I forgot to mention. While you're being propelled in the air, or rather while you're on top of him, you want to push forward in the direction that you want to go, or else you will fall. Now I'm just getting my butt handed to me by these, by these stupid Gorons. Right, that was fairly simple and fast. Be on top, and aim it. There we go. Moving on up. There we go. Oh, by the way, you don't need to really get on top of that pipe, just get over it, really. Jump down. Get a couple hearts. Uh, just money and a heart. That's better than nothing. Yeah. 
Yeah, see right here, you want to use your iron boots because this thing doesn't, does not seem to go away. See how long I'm, I'm waiting for it to go away? But nothing. So walk right on through. And once you think you've gone far enough, take off your boots and continue on. There may be opportunities, or rather, possibilities where you have to shift your view because the Goron is not facing the way you want to go. But again, that may be obvious because you need to push forward in the direction you want to go anyways. Remember how back in Ocarina of Time you had to stop one of these Gorons in the inside of their cave to get... Uh, I believe it was a fire armor, and you were like an adult. Well, obviously, you have to be an adult to get any armor. You frickin' son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill you for that. Sorry for my little um, expletive, I guess. I get angry sometimes when I play video games. My anger happened to destroy a Wii remote. I don't mean break it into pieces, I mean the sensor won't work anymore. Awesome, we are fine. Oops, come on. There we go. We are finally in the Goron Mines. Just about. So cue the cutscene. Uh oh, Gorons are gonna kill us. Run away! Ooh, what's this? Oh yeah. We're gonna do more sumo last night. Sumo wrestling to prove our worth to get into the Goron Mines. Now, Darbus, wasn't that the guy, the guy's name in uh, Ocarina Time for which you saved or you helped? By the way, um, you may want to br come in the room with your iron boots on because you'll be put into the ring immediately once you accept this challenge. I lose the first time because I didn't take advantage of that. And there we are again. Wearing clothes this time. Alright guys, we're coming up on the end of the video. I'm going to pause here, and in the next video, we will sumo wrestle the Goron. Well, actually, we'll do it right now, but I lose. So in the next video, we'll actually win against the Goron King. Or Vice President, I don't know. Second in command. Peace out, guys.